I'm your Twin Falls neighborhood reporter, Lorian Nettleton, and winter weather in the Magic Valley has made a mess of the roads. Trying to get anywhere is generally discouraged, but what about when lives are on the line? It's been a pretty busy January, and I don't know. Stan Flint has been an emergency responder for 25 years and says after a week of winter storms closing roads, it's nice to see Magic Valley paramedics able to get where they need to be. We've had two situations this year where an ambulance has gotten stuck, it was both on the same day, both in Jerome County, and they were both times responding to a call. The paramedics respond to emergency calls 24-7 in Jerome and Twin Falls counties, but with recent weather, they've had to make adjustments. If we're running lights and sirens in snow, people expect that they should be pulling over. Well, we're going to cause problems just by doing that. So, no flashing lights or sirens. Instead, ambulances will flow with traffic. In the city of Twin Falls, we average about 7 minutes and 30 seconds from the time it's called till the time we're on location. Do you have a suspicion that... Oh yeah, definitely have a suspicion on that. We're not used to getting this much snow at once. That's Deputy Fire Chief Mitchell Brooks. He said that while main roads in Twin Falls are in pretty good shape, it's a different story in subdivisions and neighborhoods where streets don't get plowed. It certainly hinders our travel, um, slows our, our response times down quite a bit. Um, our access into buildings and subdivisions um, goes down drastically when conditions are like this. The best way to help emergency responders is to make sure your address numbers are visible, check the batteries in your smoke alarms and carbon monoxide detectors, and to avoid fire risk, unplug your space heater when it's not in use. We haven't really been terribly busy. There have been um, several calls, but so far we've been able to get to all of them. A warm-up is in the forecast, but it could be some time before the roads are clear again. We'll keep you updated with the latest on Idaho News 6. I'm your Twin Falls neighborhood reporter, Lorian Nettleton, Idaho News 6.